Hello my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop with a little bit of a different kind of video for you today. I have alluded to the fact that I cut a lot of firewood. In fact, I've made the statement and I stand by it that I cut more firewood than any other person in the United States for personal use. I'm not saying I cut more firewood than any other firewood cutter. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for personal use. In other words, I go cut it and I go burn it. And in that regard, I believe that I cut more firewood than anybody else in the whole United States. Here's why I say that. Because my house is about close to 7,000 square feet and it's all concrete floor. It's a slab and it was built in the 1930s and back then they didn't think much about insulation and that floor is freezing cold all the time and it's too many rooms and too many iterations to try to you know cut the floor up and insulate it so I just bought the biggest wood furnace I could find and I just heat it that way and it works pretty well the house is to me fairly warm my wife is constantly just always freezing but regardless today's video is about me just cutting firewood and I don't speed this up at all and you'll get to see in real time how long it takes me to cut a trailer load of firewood now this trailer I would say if you stack it and really put it on there as tight as you can. You can get pretty close to a cord on there. Uh, I would say maybe not quite a full cord because the trailer is five feet wide and the trailer is uh, nine feet long and uh, the sides on it are about 18 inches high. Now a cord is four by four by eight. So you do the math. I heap it full, you know, whenever I do it, even when I stack it, it's more than full. Uh, so I'm getting pretty close to a cord on there. Now that trailer load like that in really super cold days will only last me a day and a half to two days. And that's it. So I always say, I, and I'm conservative when I think I say that I burn a cord of wood in three days. And I really don't think that there's anything wrong with that statement at all. I believe that's 100% true. So I hope you enjoy just taking a look at me in real time cutting firewood. And uh, then I'll show you the full trailer at the end. I did load this all by hand. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
Well, I think that takes care of all of that. That was just kind of a medium sized treetop. So I just used my little saw. This is a uh, steel MS-251. But uh, had it been, you know, quite a bit of the larger stuff like that, I would have used my big saw, but man, it wasn't necessary. Well, there's what she looks like, you know, with all the wood loaded on there. Took me just about as long to load it as it did to cut it, because I had to load it all by hand. It's not the best firewood, but as I always say, my father used to say, it's better than burning snowballs. And, you know, <laughs> that's the way it is. So at least we cleaned up the mess and we have fuel for the furnace. This will only last maybe two to three days in, you know, reasonably mild weather where it's just getting down to 32 at night. That's Fahrenheit. As long as it stays 32 or above, this will last two or three days. Otherwise, this will probably only last a day and a half if it was really cold. No kidding. Well, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you're not yet subscribed, please get that done. And we'll see you down the road. Thank you. Thank you.